This is the new E201 controller series, which are based on extruded aluminum profiles, and that means they have a cool console look. On the other hand, these are based on standard enclosures, and compared to the C201 series in our program, you can't have them in any shape and size, unfortunately. But there is a little bit flexibility if you look at, for instance, these two models, where we have a different uh, width of this one compared to this guy. Okay, so what can you actually do with an E201 uh, enclosure type? You can put in almost all the modules that you find in our program and you can create a unique controller for your particular use. And we brought some examples today. Uh, we even have one here fresh from the labs. It doesn't even have any labels on the buttons yet. But this is kind of like the standard enclosure that you uh, might expect. It has uh, just a slider, it has buttons which are probably going to be like here, uh, rows 1 to 8 for bus control or something. It has a display and a uh, menu system. And um, this one is another example of a, a big controller that could be used with an 8 and 1 ME or 2 ME or 4K 1 ME. And uh, it has audio control, a joystick for robotic camera control, and a very cool T-bar with an aluminum handle. See, the difference between this one and this one is that there is a different switch in mind for this guy over here. We have only six buttons because it's designed for a television studio, uh, ATEM television studio switcher, instead of, for instance, a 8 or 16 channel switcher like this one could be. So that's one of the ways you can combine it. And um, it also is the reason why we have different sizes of these enclosures because you can put in modules for different scenarios. And then finally we have an example over here which is with a very unique user group in mind. This is developed with a customer for disabled and disadvantaged people and these people they uh, need exactly the functionality that should be possible during operation for them. So they had only five inputs in their switcher and they had also some very specific needs for these buttons over here. So everything is thought through compared um, in relation to the production scenario they are having. So as you can see, we have a very versatile box. We can put in any module, almost any module from the Skahoy series. And on the back side, we have typically the Ethernet connectivity to the hardware we want to control. And you can also include some um, connectors here for tally lights or something else. Mm -hmm.